Welcome to SS Tutorial. Today I am here with a new video. This video is going to be on a very important topic. So please don't skip and keep watching. Today in this video we will know about wall pressure belt. So let's begin. Before we know about wall pressure belt, let's know what actually means by wall pressure belt. Pressure belts are nothing but the region on the earth surface that are dominated either by high pressure cells or low pressure cells. Let's know what is meant by low pressure zone. Low pressure areas are the area where weight of the air above the earth surface is lower than the average. Now question is how air loses its weight. Air loses its weight when its density or amount of air gets low. It happens due to rise of air when air gets heat by sun and due to rotation of the earth. Similarly, high pressure areas are the areas where weight of the air above the earth surface is higher than the average. When air gains its weight by increasing amount of the air or increasing the density of the air, then it is called high pressure. Let's know about world pressure belt. On the earth surface, there are seven pressure belts. They are equatorial low pressure belt, subtropical high pressure belt, subpolar low pressure belt, and polar high pressure belt. If you see on the diagram, then you will find that there is a pattern of alternate high and low pressure belt over the earth. That is due to the spherical shape of the earth, due to which different parts of the earth gets different amount of the heat. Equatorial region gets more heat than that of polar region. That is why there is low pressure belt in equatorial region and high pressure belt in polar region. There are also one another reason which we knew before. That is rotation of the earth. Due to the rotation of the earth, bulk of air from subpolar area pushes towards the subtropical region. That is why air pressure becomes lower in subpolar region. Let's know about shifting of pressure belts. While pressure belts are not fixed in their latitudinal position, they get shifted with the change of season. This is because of the earth is inclined 23 and half degree towards the sun. If the earth had not been inclined towards the sun, then the pressure belt remains as it is, as we described. But pressure belts are shifted due to inclination of the earth, which causes differences in heating of the continent, ocean and pressure condition in January and July. January represents winter and July represents summer in northern hemisphere. But it is totally opposite in southern hemisphere. When the sun is overhead on the topic of cancer, pressure belt shifted 5 degree towards north and when sun is overhead on the tropic of Capricorn, pressure belt shifted 5 degree towards south. The shifting of pressure belt mostly occur between 30 degree to 40 degree in both hemisphere. In our next video, we will briefly discuss about each pressure belt. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then please press the like button and share with your friends. To get our new video, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.